All right, no bald pumpkin head on the camera today. Road to the show. I haven't checked it out yet for this year's game. Not usually a mode I play, no offense. But the one thing that I did absolutely notice is even though I have my own roster and you get to um, choose your own roster, as you can see here, I got a, you know what I'm saying? I got my favorite uh, ball players all on the same team. But when you look at the lineup, not the roster, but the lineup, they are not using um, the best of the best. And as far as I know, you can't change that. They don't even appear. It's like they don't exist. So that's one of the things that I find very, very confusing. Maybe somebody can shine some light on what that means I don't know let's just get into the game and uh play a match a hitting coach touches base with a new arrival to the team sorry I was drinking some water there hitting coach your off days or your own but every bit of extra time you can commit to developing your bat skills will make a difference give it a try continue Apart from just the obvious playing baseball, this feels like a little bit more RPG-ish, right? Time in the field can take you from I mean, you literally get your skills going up and all that. I don't even remember if in franchise and mode, if you're... Uh, sorry, let me pause this for a second. I don't even know like if it's like a Madden NFL football. When you play franchise on your own offline, all your players, they, they upgrade after each match, right? It's like an RPG. I don't know if they do that for this game. I haven't noticed. But then yes. again, a lot of my guys are already 99. So can't really further improve that. Adios, muchachos. That's right. You better believe it. So much for this game, no first and the sound of that snapper crack ball off the bat what, look at that look at those stats look at that whopper with extra cheese Here's a speed threat. anyways and then boom shortstop which is actually a position I played uh, in real life when I was a young boy and then this part, I'm still not used to. Bastard. I'm not. Uh, oh, see? Just boom. Throws you in there. And I kind of like that because I like batting and I like fielding. And so in this mode, it's just like, woo! <laughs> That's right. Take a good luck. The Ibanez. It's one of my favorite guitar brands. Some beautiful wood there. Anyways, I, I just wanted to make a quick video on this. Let me see if I can focus here. Another thing I've noticed, uh, sorry, is when it comes to the camera in Road to the Show, it doesn't appear like you can actually change um the like the fielding cameras so, so like when you play franchise you get hitting view pit, pitching view and you get two others for the fielding right and you can set it to a dynamic broadcast low medium and high i believe this one here it's like so um you know what's up <laughs> it's like you can't like i like the camera angle but the fact that i can't seem to be able to change it it kind of just makes it weird again fast play uh pitch selection camera uh i don't know i i just find it uh you know interesting again maybe you can shed some light on that out to short ibanez collects it on to first play made that ends the inning and that's it i just wanted to um literally show you that really quick and let you know that I do find Road to the Show intriguing, interesting, just boom, boom, in and out, back and forth between. Like, it's just so quick-paced, obviously, compared to playing franchise mode. 
And it's interesting. I don't think Diamond Dynasty is my thing. The whole online card collecting. I don't like having to be online. And I'm already not that great at the game. Although this here looked pretty good. I may end up doing a mini series on this. Again, on my channel, I've talked about this before, where I usually play, you know, so many games. I showcase them. They come out. Hey, how's it going? Check out this game. Oh, this is pretty cool. And then that's about it. Maybe I'll do like a little five to ten, you know, video series just to kind of showcase and show you the game, uh, share with you what I think of it, regardless of how good or bad I am at a game. And then I move on to the next thing because there's there's always new games coming out. I can't keep coming back to them. I may try to keep this one uh, in my my main rotation of like sports games, along with simulator games where I drive you know, the truck or my World of Warcraft. I know those aren't exactly the same games, but those always seem to be the small handful of games I keep going back to. Sorry for all the rambling. Just wanted to share this with you. As always, if you like the video, thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel. And if you didn't like the video, well, that's fine. Go ahead and give it a thumbs down and it'll crack a bat off in your ass and bend and twist your thumb in half. And if you want to subscribe to the channel after all those wonderful things I said could happen to you, I mean, naturally, that would be great. But if not, trust me, I get it. Thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care and maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.